So in order to do any of this, we need to have the Steam input enabled. The first step to do this is to go into your settings to the controller tab. And down here in the external gamepad settings, you have to make sure that enable Steam input for Xbox and PlayStation controllers is set. Um, also install the extended feature driver just to be safe. The other thing we have to do in the Apex game settings here, if this doesn't pop up, then that probably means that you have to go to the properties for Apex and in the controller section here, make sure that enable Steam input is set for Apex Legends. So make sure that's enabled. And now we have the controller configuration. So we go into the configuration here. Um, this is going to be where you select your layouts. You go into the layouts here. Uh, you just want to go to the gamepad template here. It's the basic template that you start off with and apply. Then we're going to head into the layout edit. For the tap strafe binds, it's probably easiest to use the left stick, the left joystick. People set it to their jump button, um, to like a paddle. In my opinion, this is the most intuitive, easiest to get used to. Set this up, go here into where you can set the input for the joystick and just hit create a mode shift. This will bring up another section down here. You have to go to the section uh, settings section here, hit mode shift and click joystick click. And so what this does is when you click this stick in, it'll change the inputs for the left joystick to whatever you bind down here. So we change joystick to directional pad to get four different inputs for the directions. This is where we set up our tap strafe. Joystick up is going to be the W key. You go into the settings here, try and hold to repeat all the way down and then repeat this for every direction here. And once you have that set up, what you wanna do now is um, when you set this bind for the tap strafe, it removes your ability to press the sprint button. So in the game in Apex, you're gonna to have to turn auto run on. You won't be able to sprint with a button anymore. A side effect of that is that the left stick click in game is no longer available because when you click it it shifts it to these inputs and the way we get around that is right here in this mode shift there's an option to set a click input as well um, set it to left stick click but instead of regular press this is the activator how you how you activate the, the action you're setting Instead of regular, we're going to do double press. And so when you double click the left joystick, um, you'll be able to change your scope zoom. And then you want to go back into here and change this to four way, no overlap. Um, some people like eight way because you're able to do like diagonals. In my experience, it caused me to mess up my direction changes. Like my, my momentum shifts were a lot clunkier with the eight way. Uh, with the four way you get the sharper the sharper redirects right uh, so i mean you can try eight way if you want in my experience four way just feels better next thing we can do is set up uh, moving while looting again i tried a bunch of different binds for me what worked best um probably works because of what i have my in-game bind set to i switched the binds for my interact and my tactical so my interact is l1 and my tactical is square which is also on one of my paddles you could experiment with whatever works for you or you can just copy what i did it will take some getting used to but it's honestly made it a lot easier for me to like move around grab zip lines you know loot in general i can just spam the butt the bumper really easily so um what I did here, what you have to do is go into action sets here. We're we'll using action set layers. So you're gonna add a layer to our default set. Just call it movement. 
and this will add a, another layer of keybinds on top of what you already have set. So it'll override whatever you decide to change in that layer. So to activate it, we go to the left bumper, right? Going up by example, um, sorry. Uh, for the left bumper, you add a sub command, right? You add the sub command and then the sub command is going to be an action set command. And you're going to set it to hold action set layer. And that layer we made is going to pop up right here. You want to uncheck these because you don't want um, pop-ups in game every time you hit this. Uh, every time you hold this button, you don't want it to pop up with a banner or a sound or something. So now that's set up, when you hold the bumper, it'll switch to the other action set layer. And in this layer, the way I did this was I set the directional pad to um, my movement keys. If you do WASD on these, um, when you double tap W, you start sprinting. Um, if you have double tap to sprint off, you still start sprinting. I don't know what that is, but uh, there's no way to get around it that I could find. So it, it kept, I kept sprinting out of death boxes by accident, right? And it got annoying. So what I did instead is my up and down keys, uh, my up and down D-pad is jump and crouch, space and control. My left and right is AD. So I can left and I can AD strafe and I can jump and crouch. And that moves my head hitbox around a lot. So it's a lot less likely I'll get, you know, headshotted while in, the, in a death box. Um, and that only activates when you hold the bumper down. So typically you hold the bumper to get into the death box. You just keep it held down, right? You just keep it held down and then you claw with your left hand to press the D-pad buttons to move around while you're looting. It's a lot to do at once. <laughs> It's not meant to be easy, but it's meant to be possible. Um, there's one more thing that we can do as well. This is exclusive to DualShock and DualSense controllers. The, the trackpad can be set to different button presses. Uh, you can set up to three, but if you have the center trackpad button set as well, it's really hard to, to differentiate what you're clicking. You have to like look where you're touching the pad, which is not good during the game. So just setting it to left and right, it's really easy to just, you know, reach over and press the left or right side of the touchpad. This could be set to whatever you decide to with literally any action in the game that you have bound to like a key on the keyboard, you can set it here. Um, it's not tied to one of your other button binds. This is completely separate. What I did, um, I changed my binds for MNK as well to try and learn MNK. My shield bat is F, right? So I want my right touch pad to be shield bat. That's my F key. My left touch pad, you can put for another heal, whatever you decide to. I set it to inspect weapon, which is my C key. Um, if you hold the trigger and then spam inspect, you can inspect your weapon while you're running. Um, like M and K can. So, I mean, all I have to do is hold my trigger and then claw to touch the left touchpad and I can spam inspect. Not necessary, right? But it's always nice to have. And that is all you have to do here to set up your movement 